Mahomes was 4 of 12 passing on third down for 46 yards, zero TDs, and an INT for the entire game. He had zero touchdowns in two total interceptions. It was not his night. Patrick. They beat us uh, uh, pretty, pretty good. Uh, the worst that I think I've been beaten in a long time. I wasn't getting the ball on, out on time. Uh, the receivers were running, were running routes, um, not to exactly where I thought they were going to be at. Um, and the offensive line, they did good. They were, they were good at sometimes, and sometimes they, they, they let guys through. And uh, when you're playing a good defense like that, you got to be on the same page as the offense. And we weren't today, um, and that's why we, we played uh, uh, so bad. Max, tell me this. Do you think his Super Bowl performance hurts the legend of Mahomes? Because we're all going crazy for him. Best we've ever seen. He's the future, yada, yada, yada. No, I think, if anything, it enhances it. Look, the fact of the matter is, I saw this on, uh, I want to say CBS was quoting next-gen stats. Mm -hmm. You know how, many, how much he ran behind the line of scrimmage last night? 500 yards almost. It was a little under 500 yards. Yeah. The dude Running was on the life. run yeah. for his life. Yeah. And, and, guys, let's be honest about Mahomes. Stephen A had made a reference to one of them. He hit two receivers mm -hmm. in the face in the end zone. Two receivers got hit in the face with the ball in the end zone. One of them was Tyreek Hill. Look, look at this play. Honestly, this play right here is one of the best passes, even though it was an incomplete, I've ever seen. Yeah. This is in the Super Bowl. His body was parallel to the ground. Yeah. He wound up hitting the receiver in the face. No, Mahomes did. That super, is unreal. He did supernatural things, and the one to Tyree Kill was all. It wasn't that, but here, the one to Tyree Kill was awesome. Look at this. He hit him in the face. No <laughs> one's questioning his arm. So, right, but it's not just the arm. It's the fact that he never panics. He's escaping the pocket. Mm -hmm. He makes great decisions. The fact that he wasn't getting the ball out fast was not about Mahomes. Uh, being slow to process information. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, they were playing the two high safeties all game. Whether they were in zone or man-to-man, -man, all game, mm -hmm. they were not going to let anything deep. Mahomes was making good decisions, and by the way, he was giving, he was like uh, uh, delivering the ball accurately in improbable circumstances, escaping pressure where the play should have been over, actually using his legs to create time, keeping his eyes downfield. Guys weren't catching the ball, and they sometimes they just weren't open. Mahomes, I thought, was, if anything, added to his legend, but Superman was not enough yesterday. They needed something more than Superman. That's a damn lie. He ain't add to no legend. Not, not last night. He ain't add to any legend. If you recall, Molly, yes. on numerous occasions, uh -huh. I've sat across from this man, whether literally or figuratively, virtually, uh -huh. digitally, whatever yeah. the case may be, be a satellite, and I have said, what about the weapons? Yeah. Tyreek Hill, Travis Kelsey, McCall Harbin, et cetera. Well, guess what? The question was answered because when they struggled to get open last night or struggled to catch passes, how did Patrick Mahomes look? He did not look good. He did not look good, Max. This defense was surreal. If you recall, we saw a beatdown similar to this when Seattle, the Legion of Boom, put it on Peyton Manning and the Denver Broncos. They were up by 29 in, like, the third quarter. The Legion of Boom was stronger. They were faster. They were quicker. They were more physical. They were playing smash mouth. And what did they say? They talked about how Denver would engage in the trickery. You know, you know, you know, sneak plays, trick plays, etc. All that gimmicky stuff. How do I remember this? Because I know my brother Cam Chancellor. He and I spoke after that Super Bowl. He was like, "Yeah, you know, you know, we, we it's about attacking your fears." Peyton Manning could instill fear into a lot of people, but it wasn't in us. We were going to go at them, and we were going to dare them to play that kind of smash-mouth football. We were going to get in their face. What did Devin White say post-game last night after going against Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs? This is what we were going to do. We weren't giving you anything over the top. We were going to make you methodically go about the business of beating us. We were going to keep you in front of us and dare you to play some real damn football. What happened? Kansas City was thrown off kilter. Now, of course, Offensive line, gang it, we know that. Of course, we I pointed out how Tyree killed Travis Kelsey, dropped pass with Cole Hartman, couldn't get open to save his life. I got all of that. Or was basically ignored. Why? Because they said we're not gonna blitz you. What we're gonna do is we're gonna send four after you. And oh, by the way, if you're Patrick Mahomes, what are you doing? Your first option is Tyreek Hill or Travis Kelsey. Your second option is Tyreek or Travis uh, or Tra Travis Kelsey or Tyreek Hill. You're not gonna have but so much time to get to your you, you go through your progressions and to get to the third or fourth option. We're daring 
daring you to try to pull that off, knowing that you couldn't. And in the end, what it comes down to is this, Max. Even though we still recognize Patrick Mahomes being the great quarterback that he is, but the issue is the GOAT. All of that stuff is over. It's over. Because here's the deal. It's not just about seven Super Bowl championships to one. Forget all that. Here's what it's about. No matter what you do in your career, you lost to the man considered the GOAT who beat you at age 43. We will consistently remember yeah. that encounter. It's a big hill to climb, but we're going to debate that later in the show. When we talk about it, we're not going to talk about he lost look, because right. Brady look, has lost. We're going to get into that. Down. We're going to get into that down. later in the show. This is what I say. This is what I'd say. The reason you can send four all games is it was the same as a blitz, only no one was open. <laughs> you can't, they couldn't stop. Like, it's one thing to say, well, what is Mahomes going to do when his guys are covered and he has no time to throw the ball? What did he do? As I mentioned, he hit two receivers in the face, right in the face, in the end zone with passes. He, does he need to catch the ball, too? The fact of the matter is the offensive line really not being there. They didn't have their starters, their best players on the line. Fishers, sports, yep. That, to me, that's the story of the game. Those guys, Fisher and Schwartz are not just there okay because they're the best guys on the line because they play the tackle positions. They're, As they're, I they're keep mentioning, Mitch Schwartz was all Mitch Schwartz was all yeah. decade, yeah. according to Pro Football Focus. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 Fisher was a number one overall pick. He's been to multiple Pro Bowls. These guys are Pro Bowl caliber tackles that were gone. And, and it was going against a great defense, the offensive line. So they were completely overmatched. Mahomes was pressured more than any quarterback in the history of the Super Bowl, yeah. and he was blitzed almost less yeah, than any and, quarterback and, in the history of the Super but, Bowl. But what, I'm, but what I'm saying... What do you want him to do? Listen, what I'm saying to you, Max, is I am not refuting your points if the issue is that they lost, because we understand that wasn't his fault. I'm saying that when you're Mahomes and people are bloviating about you to the degree that they have, you can't go into the Super Bowl and get destroyed. Tom Brady has... Wait, wait, how many Super Bowl losses does he have on his career? I three. believe it's three. Yeah. three. He lost to the ten. Giants 17-14. Yeah. He lost to the Giants 21-17. Yeah. And he lost to the Philadelphia Eagles 41-33 when he threw for 505 yards. Mm -hmm. I'm saying that when you look at Mahomes... Right now, never questioning his greatness, understanding the Elways have lost, the Peyton Mannings have lost before, Brett Favre lost before. Uh, think about what you're saying. When you for a get second. beat down, think about what you're saying for a that second. That doesn't get glossed right. over. Think about what you're saying for a second, real quick. Tom Brady, in that first Super Bowl loss, scored 17 points, mm -hmm. right? He had Randy Moss. 17, and 14, I think it was. Maybe it was 14 it was points. Right, 14, 14 points. 14, 14, that's right. Yeah. Because before the game, he was saying, we're only going to score 17 points. And, 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 and he laughed at that, yeah. right? I used to play that on New York radio right. all the time. If you would have scored 17, you'd be an over right. the time. If you would have scored 17, you'd be an over. The greatest offense ever. That was the greatest offense in the history of football mm -hmm. to that mm -hmm. point. They were undefeated through the season. Wound up with 14 points. Mm -hmm. That's so much worse. I mean, that's so much better. Hold on. Than Mahomes with nine points with no offensive line. Nope. The point, the fact of the matter is, he, Mahomes can't all play right. defense. To be continued, guys. We're talking about Super Bowl all show. Let me just get in a break here really quickly. I do want to mention in his young career, Patrick Mahomes has two playoff losses, both to Tom Brady-led teams. Coming up here on First Take, Stephen A. mentioned that GOAT conversation. Oh, we're not done with it. Did Brady finally put an end to it once and for all? One of the guys says absolutely not. Plus, how does Bill Belichick look this AM? And did last...